Meanwhile, the Democratic National Alliance is standing by its Nassau Village candidate, Mario Lockhart, after pictures surfaced on social media this weekend with Lockhart holding what appeared to be a gun and posing with a number of scantily clad women. DNA Chairman Andrew Wilson said that during the party's vetting process, Lockhart disclosed that he had a past, but he had changed. He used to be a gangbanger. A gangbanger as so many other young persons, too many other young persons in our country are, and that he has reformed and turned his life around. He was very forthcoming from the very outset about his past. Uh, furthermore, it is my understanding that the pictures on social media was taken in the United States sometime, quite some time ago. And um, the weapon displayed in the photograph was a licensed weapon at a time he lived in the United States. That is my understanding. The message of hope for young people uh, that they can turn their lives around. 